Welcome to our next webinar about JFT Invest, uh, our wonderful platform to have uh, direct access to a couple of strategies uh, which you can follow. So it's a real good opportunity to have something like uh, digital wealth management. So overall, JFT Invest um, is a selection of um, strategies of professional traders and you can follow those according to your own preferences. My name by the way is uh, Stefan Friedrichowski and um, you may know that a couple of strategies I will present in a minute uh, they are directly uh, from my end and uh, but there are more from other people as well so it's a real good opportunity. Oh, I have to mention the date. Yeah, we have the 27th of November. Uh, yeah, in one month, Christmas is already over. So let's see uh, what we can have um, for our Christmas gifts this year. And maybe JFD Invest is uh, one thing um, you might think about. You see already my email address. So if you have interest in slides or any uh, other information, just send me an email to s.friedrichowski at jftbrokers.com. I know my last name is really complicated. But anyhow, if you do the spelling right at the, the end of the name, meaning at jftbrokers.com, then definitely the email uh, will find its way to me. Before we really start, and we have to discuss a, a couple of things uh, here today, um, um, I have to show the, our so-called risk disclaimer. Um, you know, we talk about trading, but finally, uh, when it comes to your own decision, of course, they you do the decisions and you do the decisions on your own and on your own full responsibility. Having said that, we can jump directly in and we always start with the uh, uh, highlights of the week and um, yeah the highlights of the week are summarized in that email here so last week was really a, an extremely good week for jfd invest um, on the one hand we have a real record breaking 7.9 percent yield on uh, the new strategy jfd invest galileo which is a wonderful strategy. Uh, and you see already here within the graph <clears throat> the um, the growth of that account uh, since uh, March this year. But overall, the, all um, the other strategies as well. So the top three strategies have an average score of 3.6%, which is really an outstanding result uh, for just one week. And you see what we will, we will do finally of course, we create our own portfolio because a portfolio of strategy is, is much stronger than a single one. Maybe not in performance, in the overall performance, but in the overall balance of the growth. Because we um, strategies might have uh, drawdowns, but if you follow uh, not only one, then that might uh, average out at least a little bit. And uh, therefore, um, a diversified portfolio is always, at least for my understanding and uh, for my trading activities, the better solution to have a more smooth growth um, in your overall uh, account. So we will have a look in detail to the strategy um, Galileo, but also to my personal JFD Invest account, meaning uh, I have a personal investor account as well, and I follow a couple of strategies. And um, yeah, my my result after two months is really outstanding. Um, more than fifteen percent growth in two months, so that's a number hmm, I like definitely. So, but how can we start, or how can you start with JFD Invest? Um, if you start on the homepage of uh, JFT Brokers, then uh, we have a button which is called Investing, and there you will find JFT Invest. And what will you what you will find there as well is a short introduction of how JFT Invest can be your personal digital wealth management. So summarize, to summarize this uh, four steps, 
you have to create a so-called JFD Invest profile that is something like a Facebook account. So you need your email and um, a given password from your end. Then you might open a JFD Invest account. So that's the second step. That is a special account. Even if you are already a client of uh, JFD brokers, you need an additional account um, that's invest account that is a special one because of two reasons one is um, that account has a leverage of one to 100 so it's a professional account and you can have that um, and the reason is that you follow professionals and the other reason is you personally cannot do any own trading activities within that account. So you can follow the strategies, you can stop following those strategies, you can you can select new ones, but you cannot open directly a trade. So and if those two things are connected, then you can start um, um, following any strategy. And to have here already a summary um, with those results, you see we have strong growth for those selected strategies. Here we have the top five performers. And um, we summarize some numbers here, in uh, meaning we summarize return, equity balance deviation. That was something I will touch later uh, once again. And uh, so it's a little bit like a drawdown. Um, the last month's result and the year to date. And you see how it works. Just pressing follow will do the job finally. And um, you can have those strategies in your personal JFD Invest account. But let's first go for, as a guest. And that is something you can do always. Uh, so you, you don't need even a profile for that. And then you can already get some additional information about those strategies. And you can dive into those numbers much more in order to decide, is that something for me? Yes or no? But I'm sure I know the answer. So you see directly um, an overview of eight strategies here. Um, once again, same uh, kind of numbers. But now what you can do else is you can jump into any strategy and see what instruments are traded, the details of the equity growth, a monthly return tables, traded symbols, monthly return table, all those kinds of information are available and we will do it. Because of course we have to be in um, curious about uh, the new strategy, JFD Invest Galileo. You see that account is um, about a 5,000 euro account and later you will learn that the minimum invest of that strategy is 5,000 euros. Um, but I will come to that as well. First thing, what you see within the chart is the growth of that account over time. And uh, that account reached already about 60% uh, now. So uh, it's a little bit above even. But you see, what you see here is the real equity growth. So including floating losses. That is something which occur, so which might happen. Um, we have floating losses uh, with open trades. And uh, of course, here, um, between May and June, we have had uh, such a, situ a situation. And um, within November, um, a second time, uh, not that pronounced uh, as um, May, June. What you see here already on the screen is the monthly return table, um, all green numbers, which is absolutely remarkable um, to have, I think, 10 months now with growth in a row, which is really a good result. But now let's go a little bit more in detail here. What's important is always what is called the equity balance deviation. Um, that is something you should have uh, a look for, definitely, because here you see, yeah, there might be drawdowns, there might be floating losses, and we are that transparent that we even show those. Um, most people are only showing what is called the balance curve. Um, that is a curve just of closed trades, but then you can't see what happened in between. So um, if there are open trades and those trades might um, 
be temporarily loser trades, uh, then you would not see. Here we have exactly that information as well. And you can get already some kind of information about the volatility of that strategy. So you see here, uh, the highest number has been uh, minus um, 17%. So if you later want to follow that strategy and we want to apply what is called risk management, it's definitely not a good choice to go for a maximum drawdown of 10% because then we would have been stepped out uh, here in June, for example. So those numbers are extremely important on the one hand in order to decide maybe you say hmm, that kind of strategy is too volatile for me personally um, or if you say okay the strategy is good because it has uh, remarkable returns then applying risk management with a drawdown of five percent is not a good choice at least not for this kind of strategy. We have others where you can go even with that number of minus uh, drawdown of 5%. So that you can see here as well, Vol volatility you can see within the daily returns as well. So um, here are some uh, informations as well. You can see what kind of instruments are traded. And in this case, uh, it's uh, just two forex pairs. One is Euro US dollar and the other is British pound US dollar, uh, which is sometimes simply called cable. We have um, more than 200 trades done for that strategy, which is good because then there is already some good statistics behind that strategy so it's not a single event like five good trades in a row um, no there's already some statistics behind finally if you go here for uh, details then you can realize what is the minimum investment sum you need for that strategy so galileo is definitely uh, on my my um, um, hit list uh, or watch list uh, that's a better uh, word on my watch list uh, right now i'm not invested in that strategy i'm still in the phase looking to some live activities how the um, strategy is managed and then finally i will go for that strategy as well but you will see that um my personal JFD Invest account. I don't have at the moment 5,000 euros left uh, to be invested. So therefore, I still wait a little bit. Um, but uh, on the watch list, that strategy is definitely. Let's have a view on another one, which is um, maybe of interest for you as well. For example, the gold mine. Gold mine is an interesting strategy as well. So it has um, earned already some good uh, money, uh, more than 18% uh, up to now. During the last months, we have a little bit of drop down phase, but that's fair enough. Um, in total, 18% uh, since uh, inception or and in, within this year as well is a quite a good result. As I mentioned, it's always good to have a view on equity balance deviation so that you can see the volatility of that kind of uh, trading strategy. And you see uh, that strategy is not as volatile as uh, Galileo. Here we have numbers um, up to 6%. So floating losses are within that region. And so the, the strategy is a little bit less volatile than the other one. And another difference here for that kind of strategy, um, this strategy is trading some more instruments um, that are 14 instruments. It's more the minors, um, not the major currency pairs, which are traded. So we have a lot of trades done. So statistics is good. So it's worth to think about that strategy as well. Finally, one result uh, additional, I go for the Euro Dream, which is the one um, 
with extremely low uh, volatility. So that strategy is trading euro, US dollar only. And you might think, oops, there's an account of more than 40,000. Let's have a look to the details. Uh, minimum investment sum for that strategy is just 500 euros. And you see a lot of people are already following that strategy. Um, I think only Goldmine has more investors uh, up to now. I mentioned extreme low volatility. Have a look to the equity balance deviation here, and you see numbers just in the range of 1%, which is extremely low. So, <clears throat> with that drawdown to have a return of uh, close to 17% um, within less than one year is absolutely cool. But now I promised <clears throat> that I will show. A portfolio because if you do steps like that then the best is not just follow one strategy no um, follow a couple of strategy and diversify your money by allocating a um, different amount of money to different kind of strategies and what you see here is an jfd invest account it has an account number you can even go for mt4 uh, if you want to have some more close look to uh, the trading activities on that account, but you can do it already within the platform as well. What I do here, I follow in total five strategies. Those five strategies, um, and I have changed the portfolio, um, I think, two times up to now, and um, you see what I get. Um, it's extremely interesting to have starting on the 24th of September um, a growth of close to 1,800 euro within two months is really good. You might be interested what kind of strategies do I follow um, with that JFD Invest account. We can see that here directly and um, you see, I follow five strategies, FX Global, Balance, PowerFX, Goldmine, and Eurodream. Those five strategies are in my personal portfolio. And you see that what I decided is the protection level for all strategies is more or less switched off. So I don't use that uh, money management. I can tell you why. Because... The money invested for an individual strategy is, for example, uh, for balance, 1,000 euro. So if that strategy would be to totally wrong or uh, have problems, okay, yes, I would lose 1,000 euro. But that is just 10% of my overall account. And since I have already earned um, 1,800 euros, fair enough. So um, I can live with that. You may think, hey, how does it really work to follow a strategy? Let's go back to find strategies. Um, and then you see on the right-hand side, we have buttons which say follow. And that's all we need to press. And then we go for um, a new strategy. First thing is always just check minimum investment sum. Um, so I go, for example, uh, for BIP generator, just for, as an uh, example here, because I want to go through those steps of following a strategy. And so I have a look here to uh, the details, and I can see, okay, minimum investment sum is 500 euros. And so knowing that um, and having that in mind, then I can simply on the right upper corner, I can press the button follow. And now here we have all the steps needed um, to, to have that strategy within my account. So you, you decide how much money you allocate for a given strategy, for example, those um, 1,000. Um, and then you have the possibility to use that risk management. Risk management, and I press it here, accept the terms, means that you can say, okay, for example, if I go for 50%, what, what does it mean? If the amount of money allocated would be 1,000 euro, then if that single strategy would lose 
500 euros, um, the strategy would automatically be stepped out of my portfolio. That, has, that means that all the open trades are closed <clears throat> and the strategy is stopped. That's good for those who uh, want to limit their risk for a given strategy with a um, given number. In my case, as you have seen, I use just the 100% level because I have a bigger portfolio. And if one strategy would be really going wrong, uh, still my overall portfolio would look quite well. So uh, I canceled that because I, uh, at that moment I don't want to change my overall portfolio. But I want to give you some other information as well. Of course, you might have seen, hey, there's a performance fee, which um, is shown here, and the performance fee is always 25%. You may think, oops, I lose one-fourth of my growth. Okay, but that is done high watermark. High watermark is something um, which is uh, quite typical in the finance industry, at least if, uh, if people are really doing a fair job. We don't have any management fee, so you don't have uh, fixed costs just following any strategy. And if the strategy is earning money, then one fourth um, are fees. And only if on a month's end base we reach new record highs. Only then you have to pay uh, that kind of fee, individual for each strategy. So. That's quite fair. And um, what I have shown you here, my portfolio is already including uh, those fees. So that kind of growth is after fees. So I have earned um, those um, about 18% um, after fees. So that's quite well. The other good thing I want to illustrate is talking about diversification. Let's before I jump into my portfolio again, let's have a look to one another strategy, which is called FX Global. That strategy is trading a couple of instruments. And uh, just a couple of days ago, that strategy has had a drawdown. And that drawdown, uh, let's have a view on that, was in the uh, region of 25% temporarily. So finally, everything went well, um, no question. but Mm, there was a bigger drawdown. I have that strategy within my portfolio as well. Let's have a view on how it works for my portfolio because I follow that strategy as well. And I go directly into my portfolio and that uh, real cool feature of the platform, you can analyze your portfolio the same way than any other strategy. So, um, Doing so, you can see here the, the growth, and we can have a look to that equity balance deviation for my portfolio account as well. And now you see the portfolio account has had a drawdown of 8%. That's cool. So here you can directly see what it means if you are invested, diversified, instead of just following one single strategy. So that is a big advantage of a portfolio. You you can flatten your um, your growth and um, you can flatten those those volatility um, extremes if everything works well. In my case, perfect because those strategies are highly uncorrelated. Uh, then that kind of technique um, works quite well. And being already on that step here, uh, another cool feature of the platform itself, you can see all the open positions. You can see what uh, has been the source or the origin of uh, all those trades. You see here open trades from FX Global, PowerFX, Goldmine. Um, so you have full control, full view, even directly with the internet, um, not having any platform um, or any other software so you can do it wherever you are and it's um, more or less live it's therefore the number of uh, total profit and loss of open positions uh, change here over time and um, yeah minus 12 euro uh, that's not a big deal so uh, that's uh, really good so overall 
it worked ex extremely well for me here with my portfolio. Following those five um, uh, strategies as mentioned, and that is what I would like to invite you to maybe consider to have an own JFD Invest account and follow some of those uh, strategies, which really show remarkable results. We will add additional strategies over time. And uh, yeah, to have such a portfolio means additionally, you are in the position of a portfolio manager. You're doing exactly that kind of job. Um, by switching off and on um, any strategy and uh, finally to have growth like I have here with my personal JFD Invest account. So I hope you have enough information. If not, just send me an email uh, or an email to JFD um, Brokers. Uh, we will help you as soon as possible uh, and that is a promise um, that we will do it quite fast and um, yeah then you may open first a profile then an account and then you are a portfolio manager that's for now see you in a week and let's have a look at uh, on my account at that time point in time once again hopefully i can report of more than 18 percent growth but I'm quite sure um, that we will have not too big surprises because my account is diversified and that is a good choice. Have a good day. Bye-bye.